Hi, I'm Joe Stevens, and today we're going to learn about some basic node add-ons with C++. And mainly what I want to do with you today is take you through pretty much the basics, what you need to know, um, and hopefully just get you guys a rough understanding of what, how to build your own Node.js without really, <laughs> with very, very limited C++, and um, you guys all know JavaScript. So, um, and to get yourself further, you know, you'll have to learn C++, but these are the basics just to get you started. So, should have had a V8, first thing. Um, so, what is V8? V8 is a, the, C++, the C++ library that's being used for JavaScript. So, basically, what JavaScript uh, uses to run inside Chrome, v is pretty much responsible for everything. Um, and hopefully I say this right, libvub. <laughs> Is a, it's a C library that's responsible for uh, the node event loop along with asynchronous actions um, for portable, uh, the, the POS IX, which is portable operating system interface, um, things like sockets, file names, et cetera. So, um, and also node internal libraries. Now, basically, these are, there's a lot of them, and they're, they're kind of the node C++ libraries. Um, that are inside Node.js. The main one is uh, Node, what is that, uh, colon, colon, object wrap. This is probably the most important one. Um, and it's, like it says, it's responsible um, basically for wrapping your C++ objects um, and such and such. Now, as it's debatable nowadays, generally it started off with Node. Um, NAN is much more popular, has a little extra features. Um, at least recently, that's kind of been brought up. So um, I can't really say which is better, but uh, it's kind of something to look into. Node's kind of a good way to start off, though, and then you can switch over, depending. So, so the steps for success. So basically, the first thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that um, you, you know npm install globally node gyp. Um, this is kind of just the main tool you're going to be using in, uh, npm package to get you started off. Um, one thing to make note when you open your CC, uh, your CC file is this void initialize local object exports node module. So in here is pretty much going to be the module name and uh, the initializer for that name. So basically the function you create inside of it. And we'll see more of that later. Um, then what we do is we have to create a binding GYP file. This is what we're going to be using to target the CC file, the um, C++ file. Um, you can also do CPP files. Um, and you're going, to you're going to use the target, and you're going to enter in the module name. This is kind of be what you're going, to, you're going to compile. It's going to go and check this file um, and help you configure and compile that data so that you can require it on your front end or your JavaScript and uh, execute your code. So the next thing, after we have that file, that binding GYP, and it's all set up, we're going to do a no GYP configure. This is what makes a build folder, which has pretty much all your compiled data in it and uh, kind of gets you set up for that. Uh, the next step is inside, um, after that, you just have to do this on the same uh, layer, do uh, a build. Now, this is pretty much what compiles all of your C++ code, tests it, makes sure that there's no errors. As long as everything comes back OK, you should be all set to go. And that's basically the setup for, on the command line, how to get everything going. Uh, and to just kind of get an idea, a try-catch uh, pattern is basically how this works, for the most part. If it compiles, otherwise, if it errors, you'll see the error. So I'll give an example. So inside, today we are going to be doing a hello world. <laughs> you know, real advanced stuff. Um, so at the top there on the dash dash, we're calling the file hello.cc. We're going to do um, simple C, C, C++ stuff you don't really got to worry about too much right now. I mean, you can develop later is the include, the namespace. Using is kind of just like a uh, uh, way of shorthanding the information so you don't have to say v8 colon colon isolate. You can just call isolate. Um, and, but the main one I want you guys to look at is the void method function right there. So basically, you don't have to worry about the top line, what's inside the parameters too much. Um, the isolate, that's kind of, those are standards. The argument get return value and setting, what I'm doing, or what we're doing here, 
is we're taking a string, as we declared there, we're setting, to, setting it to a UTF-8 format, calling that isolate, and then just passing in the returned value, which we have is world. Now, if you guys are using numbers, you don't have to use like string, but that's kind of for variations. Um, the next important piece here is the void init. Now, what this is doing, this is pretty much where, when we compile that function, it's going to go look for, like the function name, where it's, um, and what method it's going to execute. If we look at node set method, uh, exports, and then we have hello, and then method. Now, that method, the third parameter there is calling that function, uh, the void method function. And the name hello is pretty much when we require the file and we go say add on, and then add on dot hello, it's going to go to that hello and then call that function. The node at, or the node module add on, on the bottom there is going to call that init, and it's also going to be under, when we go to the uh, G, binding the GYP, it's going to look for that target value. The target value is the add on name, word add on. So, setting up the data to compile. This is pretty much the, all you got to do inside the binding GYP file that you create. You just have targets, target name, which is add-on, and I just had mentioned to you guys um, the node module. It targets the add-on. And then the sources is just the file name. So, we initially named it as hello.cc, which uh, is the folder. So, basically, as long as you have these two things, and you know, you're looking at the right file, and inside looking at the right target name, you should be good to go. JSing it and running it. Not really too hard after you get everything set up, you know. Uh, I want to say this is pretty much the entire JavaScript that I used in this entire thing, which, you know, it's kind of nice at the end of the day. Um, <laughs> but at the same time, I did wish I had known more C++ going in. Um, the, all I have to do is do a require to that folder, going to that build folder, release. And after you guys do a build, there will be a file in there that's hello.cc and you just have to require it there, give it to a name. Here you can see I'm just doing add on hello to execute the function. And in the command line, uh, there's, you can see that I've called the file. Now, <laughs> I've played around with different file names, so uh, it, it, mind the image rotation.js, it's just, it's hello um, on JavaScript. And you can see that the output is world and Voila, that's pretty much the steps that you have to go through to get your basic uh, Node.js under layer set up. And the real use case for this, um, you know, a lot of you are probably like, well, Joe, I don't know C++. Why would I want to know this? Why would I want to learn this? And the real thing that to take away from uh, add-ons is that, you know, it's, it makes your job, like, if you build one operation, underneath on a C++, it can be made to handle, first it can be made to handle a lot of data. For example, if you take an image and you need to modify an image in any way, that's really heavy on JavaScript because it's, it's running, it's going through and it's, it just takes a lot more time because it's going a layer deep than it, more la a layer deeper than it needs to for every process, or every pixel. So, if you, you can simply configure one in C++, build that add-on, bring it up to JavaScript, execute your image to that, and it'll do the process a lot faster. So basically, it's just the main thing for the Node.js Node is that it really kind of uh, optimizes heavy data, use, heavy data usage. So um, just a couple things to take away from this lesson, and uh, that is Node.js with C++. Thank you.